Hello students. In this video, we will learn a very simple and beautiful poem of class 6, Beauty by E. A. Shor. Children, what is beauty according to you? Is it something which is very pleasing to eyes or nice to hear and nice to taste? According to me, beauty is something which makes you happy and blissful. It can be anything or anyone. Like nature is beautiful, mother is beautiful, isn't it? Beauty is everywhere and in everyone. This is the same opinion which the poet reflects in the poem, Beauty. Let's see the poem. Beauty is seen in the sunlight, the trees, the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. So the poet says that beauty is everywhere in the nature. It is in the sunlight, in the trees, in the birds, even in the corn growing in the field and people working there and dancing happily when their crop is ready. Harvest means the time of the year when the crop is ready. To summarize, beauty is everywhere. It can be seen in the sunlight, trees, birds, in the fields, in the growing crops, in the people who work hard day and night and rejoice when their hard work bore fruits. They dance in happiness when their crops are ready. Beauty is in every corner of the nature. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting, anything in earnest. So the poet says that beauty is not only seen but it can be heard as well. In the night, when wind makes a soft sound, Sighing means a sound that is soft to hear, as if somebody is breathing. It can be heard in the rain falling, in the droplets, rain droplets when they make falling sound. Or a singer chanting. Singer chanting means singer singing. Anything in earnest. Earnest means sincere and honest conviction. When the singer sounds, uh, sings honestly, happily and with determination. To summarize... Beauty can not only be seen, but it can be felt and heard as well. It can be heard at night when the wind blows, making a soothing, humming sound. It can be heard in the drops of rain when they fall on the earth. It can be heard in the song of a singer, singing a deep, meaningful and soulful song. Beauty is in yourself. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your rest. So beauty is not just outer, it is inner also. It, in, it is within a person also. It is in good deeds. Deeds means good acts. So beauty is in good work. It is in happy thoughts. It, it is in your thoughts also when they are happy and nice. These thoughts which keep repeating in the dreams, in our works and even in the in our rest state, when we rest, then also beauty is there. To summarize, beauty is not always what you can see outside. It is within yourself. Every person is and can be beautiful by doing good works. Beauty is in one's happy thoughts, which keep repeating. Hence, beauty is everywhere and in everyone. We just need to feel it, see it, hear it and repeat it and make our and everyone's life beautiful and blissful. So you see children, beauty is in everyone and it is, in, it is everywhere. We just need to have the eyes to see it and ears to hear it and we should be able to feel it. Let's see some question answers now. What is beauty according to you? Here I have given my definition. You can give your definition of beauty also. According to me, beauty is what fills your heart with happiness. It can be seen, heard and felt. Beauty is everywhere. It can be in nature, in a person, in an object or even in the food that we eat and also in our deeds. Deed means acts. Now next textual question. The poet says beauty is heard in. Can you hear beauty? Add a sound that you think is beautiful to the sound the poet thinks are beautiful. The poet Keith said, Heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are sweeter. What do you think this means? Have you, have you ever heard a song in your head long after the song was sung or played? So to answer first part, can you hear beauty? 
add a sound that you think is beautiful yes beauty can be heard the sound of prayers coming from temples are beautiful a child's laughter is beautiful there are many such examples you can add more examples of the sound that you think are beautiful to answer second part heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are sweeter as they keep playing in our mind even long after we have heard them this makes us happy yes sometimes the tunes and beats of a song i have heard long back keeps playing in my mind another textual question read the first and second stanzas of the poem again note the following phrases corn growing people working or dancing wind sighing rain falling a singer chanting these could be written as corn that is growing people who are working or dancing can you rewrite other phrases like this why do you think the poet uses the shorter phrases yes of course we can rewrite like for wind singing sighing we can write wind that is sighing rain falling rain that is falling a singer chanting a singer who is chanting the poet uses shorter phrases to enhance the beauty of poem by creating a rhythmic and musical effect let's see one more question according to the poet where can we find beauty according to the poet beauty is everywhere it is in the sunlight trees birds corn growing people working wind sighing rain falling or a singer chanting it is in good deeds happy thoughts in work in dreams and even in the rest so this was the beautiful poem beauty so children isn't beauty in everyone and everywhere enjoy your beautiful life thank you for listening please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video